Hello and welcome back to tutorial series of Python design pattern. In last video we talked about observe design pattern with an example. So in this video I am going to talk about another design pattern which is called command design pattern. So basically what is command design pattern? So it's a type of behavioral design pattern similar to observe design pattern and in this pattern object encapsulate all the information to execute or perform some action at the later stage or at some point of time. So to understand this design pattern we should have the knowledge of three or four terms which are required. First is command. So command class must be implemented in this pattern. Second is receiver class which receives the action and it executes it. Third is invoker which invokes the command and it executes the action and then the client which will use all these classes one by one and use this pattern or executes this pattern so to give you an example uh, to understand this uh, there is one which is web application I am going to talk about web application where you want to register uh, which requires few more details than the, uh, than the basic registration which you see in the other web application right so in this example uh, I am saying that there are three forms are required in the three steps you can register the application register to the application and you can create the account so first is the basic details you fill that second you have the business details you need to provide and the third is payment details okay so what happens in this case of uh, whenever you start the filling information uh, you will uh, you will create one object which will add all the details uh, one by one like first step details added into that second step detail added into that third steps information added into that and then finally you, when you sub click on submit or uh, 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 register it will uh, it will go with all the details with that object and actually creates the app account in the database or something else somewhere else right so what it happen, what happens here that uh, as you see that we are encapsulating or consolidating all the details into one object and then passing those information to the real executor so in the uh, in this case real executor means that is receiver class okay so here server is a receiver class right and uh, that object object is a command class and that forms are invoker class okay so this is just a overview or maybe a very simple example I wanted to explain so you can understand what encapsulating all the information right now uh, we are going to take one real life example where you will see how we can implement the design pattern in Python so before understanding let me give you or uh, let me show you the uh, Python script which I have already written here and I will explain it uh, by going through one by one okay so this is base command as I said that this is base command class which is interface uh, which has execute method which must be implemented by subclasses okay so here I have two command classes that is email command and second is SMS command so whenever I want to uh, send an SMS I will always instantiate this SMS command okay so this this is one part which I call it command right second is this is which is receiver class which receives the action that sending email and send sms so basically this is the real performer in this pattern which actually ultimately uh, act on action so this is going to send the real email otherwise other classes are just uh, performing uh, their own uh, responsibility okay so notification invoker is the invoker what it does it gets the command object and call the execute method when you call it invoke method okay so i will explain later uh, more in detail uh, just give me, i want to give you brief uh, brief understanding that this is the invoker class okay now what happens here how it works so as i said that execute method must be there whenever you are instancing this action as i said that uh, uh, as we uh, if you recall that uh, example of filling the forms right so what I am I was doing that 
I am just providing data. I, I have just created one uh, object of this SFS command and I am also passing the receiver object. Let, uh, let's suppose in that app, web application example, the API endpoint or maybe server's uh, IP address was the receiver, right? So same here, we are just giving an object of this notification service. So whenever it requires, it can call the send SMS or send email method. Okay. So in SMS command, we are going to pass the receiver object and whenever it execute method will be called by this invoker class, the send SMS method will be called with this self dot data, which was, which was passed while creating the SMS command object. Okay. So now I guess uh, I have covered uh, the steps how it works but let me give you uh, uh, a real performance a real execution by these lines by which i have written first we are going to uh, instantiate this notification invoker class so which is invoker class we are calling it a invoker object then we are also uh, taking an object of uh, notification service these objects are not going to be changed uh, until unless this process is completed right which we are going to use resistance base uh, for all the commands now what happens here let me you uh, uh, let me uh, explain that if you want to send sms and email both what you will do with the same information you will create the object of email command while passing the receiver as well as the data which will be required while executing this send sms or send email method right so as I, as I said that this is the consolidated data or you can say command object which has all the information to be uh, performed at the later stage. So this is just a command object which is invoked here and uh, what we are doing here we are just adding that command to the notification history list okay and maybe we can use this list uh, later stage whenever required okay then we are calling it execute method so it will execute it then send this email or send sms it will call the receivers method okay now let me run and you will understand that yeah so invoker dot invoke email command right so what happened here sending email with this the same data which we passed in this email command and sending short message this is okay so maybe you uh, you are thinking that why not we are just calling it directly uh, notification service objects and just call it send email or data something like that so we can do definitely uh, but there are few benefits which we want from this pattern those i am going to say right now okay so first benefit of this pattern that is uh, you can roll back or reperform all the actions you passed while invoking the method invoking by invoker right because we were storing this in the notification history so all the objects are still there you can just iterate and execute once more time if you want or maybe you can roll back with some uh, uh, extra information like the same information you passed right and uh, instead of uh, send sms or send uh, email you can, could have a different uh, kind of method which can be performed as a rollback performance so you can roll back and reperform all the actions so that is one benefit of this you can also implement the queuing management system where you can pass all the actions in a queue and it can be uh, executed asynchronously right so that is one more uh, one more uh, benefit of this pattern then another uh, benefit which you can i can see that is let's suppose right now it is email command and sms command i want to have one more uh, type of uh, command I want to add it then just create one uh, subclass similar to this SMS command it should have this execute method and same way the data uh, should be passed through the receiver class method so you can build here one more method which will execute all the actions now you will have all the data and uh, so it, it, it is unified uh, uh, queuing system you will be having with all different kind of commands so actions can be different but the queue will be the same so that is one more benefit i can see so this is how you can use this command pattern uh, in uh, your project so maybe uh, i guess 
I have covered all the scenarios, all the uh, all the points which I wanted to cover. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you soon in the next video with another design pattern. Thank you.